Aloha and welcome to Betty's Real Estate Corner brought to you by Sakamoto Properties where prestige is our business, reputation our foundation. As we start today, I want to say a couple of thank yous. One to Neil Everett. I mean, he is such a lover and a Lahaina Luna wannabe just like I am that it's amazing that he did that for the school and that we're able to play it and it's bringing lots of people to talk to us about being part of the stadium bleacher campaign. And it's only $1,000, you get your name on a whole bleacher row, so it's pretty great. And then, of course, Danny Couch. Love Danny Couch, and I'm really thankful that we're able to use his music every week. And I love Hawaii, and I think it's one of the greatest Hawaiian songs of all time, because we do love Hawaii. Yes, we do. And, uh, you know, having Neil Everett uh, step up and do this uh, for La Luna is huge. Uh, Neil Everett, one of the great uh, sports broadcasters on ESPN, and uh, boy, it uh, gives it chicken skin every time I hear that. How is it? Yeah. I love when he starts with yeah. that. Yeah, and contribute and right now. <laughs> anyway, today here we are, myself, Betty Sakamoto, my husband Roy Sakamoto, trying to bring you a little bit of real estate information, trying to let you know about some of what we think are important things in the community things that we need help with, and uh, things that we should all think about. And one of the biggest things in our community today, and I think it's going to be for a lot of years to come, and I know you agree, Roy, is that everybody needs to step up and help to take care of the things that are important to them, whether it's Holly Makua or it's the Lahaina Luna High School Foundation or if it's Baldwin or Maui High, whatever the things are that maybe it's just the young people that need help with a project graduation. But, you know, we aren't going to get all the help that we once had from uh, any government funding because, as we all know, the government is running out of money. So what we need to do is we all need to step up and help in our community and do it right now. You know, yeah, Maui has a great history of helping nonprofits and, and all these great causes. And uh, I don't think there's a better community than Maui in, in stepping up to the plate and supporting all these various charities. And uh, we just finished a, a huge three-day tournament, golf tournament at uh, Kapalua. It was a benefit for Special Olympics, Maui Special Olympics, and for the Lion Luna golf team. And uh, hopefully raised a lot of money. I haven't heard any numbers as yet. Uh, I'm still trying to uh, work through this with a lead and everything else. I, I'm not used to playing golf for three days in a row. But a great cause, and it's one of the big tournaments on Maui. It was a fabulous tournament, and it was more than three days of golf because Jim St. John and Roy Sakamoto saw to it that they tried to practice and or play a few holes every day for, let's say, the week before. So I think by the two time, weeks. two weeks before, okay, <laughs> by the time they got to the end, uh, Jimmy was sick, Roy was exhausted, and both of them probably have a bad back right now, but I think we're going we're gonna yeah, to make but, it through somehow. But again, a, a great cause, Maui Special Olympics, the uh, Mahi Luna golf team, and again, to have Neil Everett step up and uh, support Mahi Luna, uh, awesome. It's really awesome. You know, a minute ago, Roy said that, you know, Maui has an amazing history of stepping up and helping. And I've always had a little bit of a story, which I'll try to say briefly, about Holly Makua and how it started. And I probably make it a little more something than it really is, but this is how I saw it, and it's such a fabulous chicken skin moment of what a community did. During the war, when the hospitals were being utilized for servicemen, they ended up, the Buddhist churches and or church, but I'm, I'm gonna say my side of the story, churches, stepped up and realized that they needed places for our, quote, frail and elderly, people that could not be kept in the hospital anymore, but they needed a place. So I picture it that these men, the, you know, the people that were, called, let's call them the elders of the church, got together and said, look, we could do this. We could use the basement of the church. We could do this. And someone said, I got sheets. I got cots. I got this. We can bring in coolers. We can, we can take care of this. We can move these people from the hospital. They have nowhere to go and we will take care of them as part of our community. And from that, Holly Makua was born. Now, Roy is on the uh, board, the Holly Makua board, board right. and uh -huh. he has been for the better part of 30 years now. 
So it really is amazing. But again, it started kind of as a grassroots thing. It started because there was a need. And I think we should all look at what we can help with in our community this year, and let's help. Let's all help right now, as Neil Everett says. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, there, again, there are many, many causes out there. We have uh, some of our pet causes, Holly Makua and Lion Luna, uh, and, you know, kind of at the top of our list, but we also support uh, many other charities. And in fact, we're supporting the big 4th of July fireworks show on Lahaina this year. Yeah, that'll be great, because they'll have the fireworks off of Lahaina Harbor, and from anywhere on Front Street, you get to see them. So we've got family here. We have Julie Ahu Flynn is going to be here with her family, and you know, with her husband and three kids, and Roy and I will be down on Front Street trying to see the see the fireworks with everybody else. So fun, it's going to yeah, be really fun exciting. Times. Absolutely. It'll be Absolutely. really super. Now, one more thing as far as nonprofits and as far as Halimakua, Big Luau coming up September 27th. In West Maui. It's yes. not going to be in Wailea this year. It's going to be the Sheraton Luau Kapena. Uh huh. It's going Deadline to be really entertainment, exciting. Kapena, mm -hmm. September 27th. So I'm almost sure Gary here, our engineer, is going to be there at the Halimakua Luau. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll make sure he is. Chris, Chris Meyer, yep. Meyer Computer. You yep. know, we promised him that we would kind of support Meyer Computer and give them free advertising if he would show up. And he's <laughs> all over it. He can't wait yeah. to be there. Yeah. It's going to be a big so, year. Big uh, uh, luau for Halimakua, September 27th. And uh, in the coming weeks, we'll be talking more about it. But uh, mark your calendar, September 27th. And then if you want to donate to the Stadium Bleacher Campaign, you can call 661-5332 or go to Lahaina Luna High School Foundation org. So um, think about that. It's only $1,000 you get a row. A lot of people are going together as a group. A lot of the high school classes, if you go to the website, you can actually see if your class is already in the middle of it. And then I think there's a way for you to put in for your class, you know, say $100, $50, $20, and that's going to all work up so that let's say the class of 1960 will have a, a bleacher seat, you know, a bleacher row. So it's really going to be, it's an exciting and great idea. What a great way to commemorate your, your class, your class year, mm -hmm. and, uh, and help the community. It'll be great. Yes. Well, you know, Roy, we do okay. have to do a little real estate here. Yeah, and uh, our website again, www.sakamotoproperties.com, and our phone number, 808-669-0070. You know, this last week, I had somebody giving me a hard time that had listened to the radio show. He will remain nameless, but he was kind of joking that we represent people that buy second, third, and fourth homes. We do, and I mean, that's an amazing thing, and it's fascinating. But we've met some amazing people from around the world, and we're really proud of it, and we're great that we get to do it. However, we do a lot of different types of deals, and in the last week or so, we've had some interesting things. We've got a couple of new listings, one in Waiakule, one a great small home in the Pilihau, which is going to be a fabulous home for someone. We've just listed a new Lahaina house. What's the address of that boy? 15? 15... 15B, as a boy, Ui, UI place. And uh, just listed, it's a, it's a three bedroom uh, home with a, a Lahaina. Listed at 625,000. It's uh, maybe 200 feet from the ocean. Not quite an ocean view, but uh, boy, you can hear the surf. It's, it's a great location between Front Street and the main highway. You're far enough from the main highway that you can't hear the highway noise. And uh, it's a real jewel tucked away uh, in Lahaina. You know, it is interesting. I see these as they should be end up being an owner-occupant house. And I hope it does end up that because I think the Ohana helps everybody to be able to step it up and afford something like that. Well, it'll, that yeah, close. it'll help you qualify for mortgage. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a great way to go. And, and I think that's where it should be. But we have seen this year different places like New Hillyhow Villages, the small condos out near our office, where people have come in and bought one as a second home. 
the second home market is not so much anymore that people are buying half a million to two million dollar properties. In a lot of cases, they'll come over and they'll find a great sweet little place that they can have. They can come over here. They're going to play golf anyway. They're going to do all the things they're going to do as tourists, but they can get from all of these different places, whether it's a Waiapuli home, a Lahaina home. I mean, these places, we're guessing, will end up being uh, residents, you know, and it may be Chances somebody's are, first home. Yeah, Chances right. are. Yeah. But it is good for anything, so that we aren't only doing, so let's take that away, that we only do second, third, and fourth homes. We pride ourselves on really working hard with any owner-occupant that wants to come to our office and have us assist them in buying their first home or trading up to a home or whatever it is because there's everybody wants to have a home it's the american dream and for most of us you know it's it's the greatest thing in the world so we want to help and we can help so call us 808-669-0070 and we've got a great team ready to help you from mortgage lenders to escrow companies uh, I mean, we'll walk with you the, the whole process and it's uh, it's very very easy so uh, call us again, 669-0070, or look at our website, SakamotoProperties.com. And Roy's right. It is easier than you think. It, uh, right now, there's some amazing loans that are available. There's some that are federal loans that Lahaina is considered, you know, from the federal government to be a rural community. So there's some loans, and everybody won't qualify for them. I think it's one of those things that where you can't make too much money and yet you could make, yeah, if you make too much, you don't qualify. If you don't make enough, you don't qualify. So it's a little bit of one of those gap things. But I think that it's very low interest rates. It's excellent interest rates and low cash to get in. So that oh, awesome financing for, especially for first time home buyers. But uh, if you're an existing homeowner and you're looking to step up and uh, sell your existing home and buy something a little larger, uh, or there's easy programs for you to qualify on that too. So again, call us, 669-0070. So back a little bit, Roy, you know, we were saying some of these properties, you know, the Lahaina homes, et cetera. I think those are easy right now. We can get you in to see some of these fairly quickly. And the price range, let's say, is going to be from, let's say right around 450 up to probably 750. But we just happened to have suddenly gotten a great little assortment of these properties, and we'd love to be able to show them to you. You know, I, I just checked our MLS system this morning before we uh, drove to the studio, and there's uh, right around 500 current escrows in, in Maui. And that's a lot of people buying a lot of properties, so uh, hurry up. You know, that's a, a great statement, Roy, because over the last months of the show, you know, we've checked, and almost every time that we come to do the show, that's every two weeks, you look at that, and we've had escrows, like 500 escrows, 600 escrows. I don't think we've been down under 500 for a while. No, we've been right around that 500 level. Uh, there's a lot of homes that close and, mm -hmm. and record, and then new escrows open, so uh, 500 plus is uh, 500 plus. pretty much the norm anymore. So it's an exciting moment for uh, Maui real estate. And you know, we've had a variety of people that have come back and bought another property. And I know that I don't wanna say it again, second, third, and fourth, but even, you know, like we're seeing people here that live here that are out looking for an investment property and they're trying to figure out that the rents do matter, but they're just looking, thinking it's a great time to be doing this and if they've got some cash available, you know, maybe it is the time that real estate in the end, I think, is always one of the safest investments. And yes, be careful. I mean, don't start doing things way above and beyond your means. And we don't recommend to you that you take your home and go out and refinance it to buy another property. Could work for you, but in a lot of cases, you can get yourself so buried, and that's how a lot of people ended up losing homes. No, we. Yeah, we recommend it against uh, people doing that, drawing out equity and so forth, when, uh, when financing uh, was really easy uh, a few years ago, and then the bubble burst and the house of cards came tumbling down. Uh, but we were strongly advising people to stay away from refinancing properties and drawing equities out, because there's a day of reckoning sooner or there later. Is. And uh, 
unfortunately it happened and uh, a lot of people were hurt but uh, we're seeing the market now you know it doesn't take a, a genius to know that uh, if you've got 500 escrows people are buying if you average 500 escrows during any given set time period and uh, you know it's a great time to buy and what's happening is we're starting to see prices creep up and uh, in, in some places uh, by leaps and bounds so uh, you know hurry up and buy uh, whether it's a uh, your primary residence a uh, an investment property a second home third home uh, again not to downplay the second and third home buyers but uh, you know they're, they're buying and it's it's happening yes it is and so we're seeing appreciation all across the board so uh, you know, as Neil Everett said buy right now yeah <laughs> you know one of the um, listings that we've had at the Masters in Kanapali, number 1402. Fabulously upgraded, two bedroom, two bath, listed at a million one fifty. And I think it will be a great, um, the people who live there right now, it is a principal residence, I believe. Right. And um, what, a, what a great location. It's, it's wow. one of the only ones that you walk in there and the kitchen has a view, the master bedroom has a view, and straight across, huge view, you're right on the Kanapali golf course huge ocean views and again extensive remodel perfect to live there it is one that they don't do short-term rentals in it typically which is nice which uh, is nice yeah, right so that people are renting but I think typically they're doing it for six months and I think in some cases it'll be people that will do the six months you know starting maybe November and then they're here at different times themselves but I think great property great people that live there and um, the one that we're talking about 1402 large living space and it's really one of the best views in the whole Kanapali resort the masters is one of the, the best kept uh, uh, properties in anywhere on Maui I think and uh, if you're not familiar with it we can sure tour you around and show you the masters and especially 1402 so call us, 669-0070, or look at the photos of us on our website, uh, thanks to Meyer Computer, www.sakamotoproperties.com, and uh, uh, look at the Masters 1402. It's easy to transition through our website, so if you get in there and you look around a little, I actually have met people looking at one of our listings with another broker. And then they tell me, oh gosh, we love your website. And I always then wonder why didn't you call us, but <laughs> it's kind of yeah. cute. And they just say, it's the easiest website. You know, I've known, let's say, Bill or someone, you know, for five years, but I found your website and somehow Meyer Computer has set it up for us where they kind of, anybody can get in there and flip through and start to find properties. So we're really happy with it. And it's easy for you. Again, like Roy says, sockmotorproperties.com, get in there, look around. And uh, it's really, it's really pretty amazing. It, it really is. And uh, again, you know, come see our website. And uh, today's electronic age, it's really, really easy to navigate. And uh, just for kicks, if you even want to look at properties in Bali and see what uh, properties are selling for in Bali, uh, you can hit on our website and uh, it'll take you to Bali if you want. Or uh, search the world. Yeah. Absolutely. You, you can click on something and it says search the world and it hooks up with all of our luxuryrealestate.com brokers. And like us, I mean everyone says luxuryrealestate.com, but that doesn't mean you aren't going to find some other properties. Or if you find a broker there and you send a, um, an email to that broker and you say, I'm really thinking I'd like to be coming to Singapore, Shanghai, London, wherever and this is my price range, we'll get back to you and tell you whether it makes sense or it doesn't. But again, great website for you to look at, sockmotorproperties.com, and we're very proud of it, so. Yes. What about Eli Loa? That was the other one that I kind of, the owners of it um, are, have left here, so it's, um, it's, it's a great property, it's two very, bedrooms. Yeah, very easy to, to get in and see. Three full uh, baths. What a great location. Right, huge views. It's a, um, a duplex, actually, so that you've got Lilo is either single, more or less single family, and they're very cottagey type places. This one is two together, you know, so it really is, it's really spectacular, but the views are great. It's meticulous. When you sit outside there, it's like you're in a world all your own. 
it's leasehold. It's on two, let's see, no, I don't have the acreage right here, but a lot of acreage. A lot of acreage, and uh, what, a, what a great community pool and, and rec And center the beach there, yeah. fabulous. Oh. Did you notice we suddenly had the two-minute warning, which seems to come faster and faster every time that we do the show? I know, I know. And we are going to have Neil Everett come back on, and I know, I mean, for us, we're so proud that Neil Everett was willing to do this for Lahaina Luna High School that we wanted to put it on our show to share it with you and to realize, you know, Neil Everett, who, who says in the beginning of this, he's not a Lahaina Luna graduate. He's not even married to a Lahaina Luna graduate, but he's proud of Lahaina Luna. And he thinks that it's an amazing community-based school and the pride of the kids. Roy is a graduate. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say what year. No. No, but it's 1960. <laughs> yeah. He's an amazing graduate, and he's supported his school. My daughter graduated. She's arriving here today. I said, Julie, A.U. Finn Sherlock. She will arrive today, and she also, she graduated, I believe, 1982. Loves her school. So we're really proud of Lionel. It, it gets in your blood, and it's, uh, it's just something that is there, you know, and, and the camaraderie with uh, fellow classmates and fellow alumni is, is awesome. And the Lahaina Luna wannabes like me. Yeah, and Neil Everett. And Neil Everett. I'm saying now he's a Lahaina Luna wannabe. Yeah. So we're going to come up pretty quickly to Danny Couch and to Neil Everett and thank you all for taking your time to listen to us. I talked to someone this week that I never would have thought listened to our radio show and he knew so many things that I say. So it was kind of a, for me, a sweet moment. So thank you all for paying uh, attention and aloha. listening. Aloha from us. And uh, listen to us the next time and the next time. And check out our website if you want to see more of it. We'll have it on our website, this show, probably within a couple of days. So I think that's it for us. Aloha and Aloha. Danny Couch and Neil Everett. Neil Everett.